Hi, I'm Lowell Shepard. Welcome to Pacific Solo. Well, there's a typhoon blowing in and it's not going to be that serious. I'm not sure it'll be a direct hit, uh, but it means it's cold and rainy today. So I'm devoting some of uh, my time to passage planning. Hey, I'm Lowell. This is Pacific Solo. I have to prepare myself for the greatest challenge of my life, crossing the North Pacific via what I'm calling Nemo North, the place in the North Pacific furthest away from land in any direction, and to take you there with me via this channel. Welcome to Pacific Solo. I'm Lowell Shepard. It is a cold, rainy day here in Tokyo Bay. There's a typhoon apparently blowing in. Uh, uh, at the moment, it just means the temperature has dropped and uh, put on some autumn clothes. It's kind of nice to be cozy. So working indoors. And uh, I've decided to start a playlist on the channel uh, called Passage Planning. And I'm being aided by a number of people in doing this. Uh, more of that in the moment. Uh, the book I invested in, I paid, I paid sixty dollars for this great book, and the sixty dollars is basically for one page. Well, a section actually. I'm going route PN seventy four, and the page I paid for was that page, and that page. Um, and I'm talking to other people who have done the passage before me. Uh, 100 rabbits uh, basically did it a little bit further north than where I'm going. So I'm going to, over the coming months, just keep you posted on my passage planning issues I'm dealing with, uh, just in case uh, it's of help to anybody else, and perhaps more selfishly in case there's more experienced sailors than I watching this who can give me some tips and advice. In advance of passage planning, I've been reviewing my mission and my goals and the plan before the passage. And so I've taken some notes. There's more extensive notes and spreadsheets and charts um, beyond this. But I'm just restating to myself what my mission is. Uh, that is entirely the wrong page. So let me go back. <laughs> what my mission is, how I'm getting there, why I'm doing it etc. But also looking at four areas of readiness. And these four areas of readiness, um, I have to be ready in them all to a large measure in order to leave next June. Uh, one is I need to get Wahine upgraded, sails, furler, electronic equipment, solar power, etc. I've got to get me ready and me particularly mentally and physically thanks to the great folks at UFC Gym here in Tokyo at Yoga Station who are helping me uh, prepare physically. And I've got some weight goals and body fat goals and muscle goals before I leave. And uh, also trying to go away on one of these 10-day silent retreats uh, to prepare for the solitude. And I've discovered I'm too old. No one over 60, apparently. So that's me. And then there's the the funding. I'm I, I'm two thirds of the way to my funding goal, uh, but now I'm talking to some sponsors. Then finally, education, uh, because I want to spread the news, inform and inspire others. And I've got a couple of great announcements coming up soon in regards to liaison with schools and a major platform to share the news. So uh, stick with me on that. a lot of help from a lot of people at Specific Solo, but there's a team behind me. Um, and there's so many people I can mention, all the crew, the family, the supporters, the patrons, the Keel Club members. But probably on the passage planning, there's four key people thus far. Kirk Patterson, uh, who has soloed across the Pacific himself, the first foreigner to circumnavigate Japan, uh, a legend, runs Kopira Con Consulting, uh, he has been available to me now for a year. Thanks to Gene Rate for introducing me and discovered we have many other mutual friends as well. So Kirk and I have spent hours on the phone going through my lists and what I need to do and what I don't need to do. 
um, and he probably is uh, ticked off with me because I don't listen to everything that he says, uh, but exceedingly wise, he's a sailing sage, no doubt. Then Paula, Paula is a more recent advisor, uh, and uh, she has raced from Cape Town to, to um, Australia last year. She was in charge of provisioning for that race, and uh, so she's given me great tips on provisioning, suggesting an eight-day uh, cycle for menus, and that every day's foods are divided up for each of the weeks that I'm traveling. Uh, Rick Powell, who's a crew member, he's the one who dove under, discovered the prop was gone. He's done a couple of ocean passages. He gives me great insights, anecdotes. Uh, etc. And then Morris Vitti, who I've not seen for years, but helpfully sent me the APEM method of passage planning. He teaches it professionally. So thank you to all these people who are so generously giving me time uh, in, in these particular areas. It means a lot. And uh, I won't hold any of you culpable if things go bad, uh, but I do value the input. I would add that as I'm thinking of the upgrades for Wahine, that I'm going, I'm growing increasingly confident in her. She's a Gypsy 402, 1988, uh, see where they, uh, in terms of her basic structures, but I do need to upgrade her. Here's a, here's a, a snapshot of her so you can actually see her layout, etc., and a, a picture of her. And of course, there's Skyly too, the Hydrovane, who, so, a, a beast to install for me at least, but a absolute pleasure and dream i love their saying steering your dreams and uh so i'm very grateful for skyly too so this was just to be a, an initial episode saying i'm going to focus on passage planning um thank you to all those who support me and subscribe if you haven't subscribed could you do so now i would be ever so grateful if in fact uh, you feel like you want to follow along and uh, please like comment and thank you to all my patrons uh, you're making these videos possible. Have a great day, everybody.